to newbiepokertraining.com and our free poker training videos. Today we will be playing some six max sit and go super turbo buying of ten dollars and we will try to make a nice profit. Hopefully double our money. That's our goal. Double our money. And we will be playing four four tables. So if we can win two first place, we will do almost double our money and we will be happy. And when we're playing this super turbos as always, we can't really play much poker. We have to push all in and race and re-race with hands that we think are stronger than the hands our opponent are playing. And when we reach the bubble with only three pairs left, we can really start pushing them around if we have some chips. If not, we have to play the players. Oh, let's see. Let's hope the jacks hold up. Yes, they did. Good for him. Now this guy with almost thousand ship, he has really, really power. Let's see if we can use it. Looks like, oh, that wasn't good for me. Now I will have the short attack. My chances of getting a press diminished. Let's see what we can do about it. I flopped. I need a deuce. Let's see if we can see, get a free card. Nope, I'm not going to call that. We're going to have to push. Oh, we're going to have to call. Let's get our ace. Ace. Oh. We tried. Here we will call with our ace king against an ace five. And we won it. Have to push with only king ten. In fear of going completely broke at this table. Have to be more aggressive and call now if he pushes. No, I'm not pushing with that. So. Now it's interesting, this table, we're basically equal, small stacks, and he isn't allowing us any room to maneuver. If I were him, I would go all in, all in almost, almost every hand. Now I'll push for all in, because he's unlikely to call me. He wants to control us. Here I should go all in. I do not want to call. Oh. 
oh, he missed his opportunity there. He hit the first all in. Now he's really getting deep. Oh, and here as well, we have, we have to push Mr. Sen because fresh H2O will push us a lot. But really, deuced. Ugh. Let's hope. We can't really call that one. Yep. We got our straight and won that one. Let's win another one. Let's hope we can. Yes, we have to call. I just hope he will check it out. Oh no. I guess fresh fresh got the ace. Yes. Well I will play this King Jack suit now. We have to deny this guy to just limp on us every time. I'm trying to steal actually. This strange blind levels. Try to look like a, try to make it look like a steal with my queens. So it didn't work. Uh, oh. <clears throat> tricky spot, tricky spot. Oh, hold on. He raises so seldom, as you can see, so let's fold our sixes. Let's limp. And let's push him. You see, I push with mediocre hands. But I do not call with mediocre hands. There's a big difference between pushing and calling. As you're pushing, you can win the hand if your opponent falls, and also if your cards are the best. But if you call, you can only win one way. That is, if your hand is the best. I'm not falling, Poker Dates there. I'm not there either. They are too strong, short handed, and so short attacked as we are. Now he has really opened for me to bully him. Seven. Okay, let's continue. Let's bully him. And he calls. And let's continue to bet him. And we bluffed him. And let's be really, really aggressive and try to scare them to obedience. Now they were think twice before raising me. This is that aggressive play. You see? Oh, what to do here? Go for. Let's see if we can steal from him. Yes, we can. We, here we basically. If they go all in, we have to think about what to do. But if nothing happens, I'm going to push. Okay. No. I want to dominate them, so I'm not calling. I'll try to keep being a big stack as long as I can. 
hopefully to the end. As long as I keep adding to my stack in there, losing it, so everything is just great. Okay, let's push. This is much you can call it. So we're going to exploit that. Now we're also going to exploit them by pushing, putting them to the test. See how we are adding to our stack. And now we actually have a hand. So if you push now, let's show them and scare them even more. This we have to call. It was a great call. And we won that one. Now we are not going to push because he have to call. Basically, he will call with a lot of hands. And let's try and induce a re-race here. Let's hope we can get one. With the races, yes, great. Sevens, now we can push. Huh. And we got really, really unlucky and lost two sevens in an all in. We, what are we going to do here? Now let's push Mr. Sen, whatever, whatever our hand is, it doesn't matter as long as we, we can. We're just forcing them to fall. And now Fresh and Shark, he really has to call. And it's a race. And we didn't get any love from the deck. And now we have to call Mr. Sense all in with our knife five. <clears throat> and we need really luck to win this one. Which we did not get. Okay, and we will be continuing our demonstration of power against the short stacks. And we will continue it. So basically, waiting for a big hand so they can call me. But it's more likely that I will get all the ships before their guild hand arrives. Oh, and the worst hand of all of poker, 2-7. But I have to. There's a small chance you actually fold it. Yes, two pair. Well, some luck. And we're gonna push with our four deuce. Let's hope we can catch the four. If we couldn't, well, we're still going to have to push because of the blind or call because of the blinds are so high. And our king jack dominates his jack four. And we took it down. So we made a profit. And that's our goal.